Welcome to the JDSU HST 3000 Learning Series. My name is Kevin, and this section is going to be very short, but very important. I'm going to show you how you can check which firmware or, or software version is on your HST, and how to identify the software options that are installed on your HST. That way you'll be able to make sure you stay current with firmware and options, and if you ever need to call JDSU's Technical Assistance Center, you can tell them exactly which versions are on your unit. That will save you time. It can also be helpful to know since JDSU provides new software and firmware versions from time to time and I want you to be able to make sure that you always have the latest and greatest features. Now today we're going to be checking underneath the system button which is under the OK key. After you power on your HST and it goes through its power cycle, you'll see the screen turn on and then you'll press the system button. Under the system button, you, among other things, you can check the firmware or the system software version for the current or your company approved version of software. That's important because JDSU puts out new features and improvements every once in a while. It's important for you to have the, the one that you need to have. You can also check the installed options on your unit, which software options are in, installed like VoIP or web uh, browsing or IPTV, things like that. And you can also check the hardware ver versions that are on your uh, HST. That means your processor card, the attached SIM, and then the copper measurements card. Those are important to know, especially if you're going to call the Technical Assistance Center. Now after my HST is turned on, I'm looking at the home screen. Press the System button. At the top of the screen, it should say Unit Options. Look for the word Revision. It should say the software vision or the firmware vision that's on your unit right now. Underneath that is the HST's unique ID number. That's an option code that will allow you to turn on additional software options and features. Next, in the large window, you'll see all of the options that are turned on on your unit, like 802.11 Wireless. You can scroll up or down. If it has a check next to it, the option is turned on. If it has an X, it's not turned on. Now the next thing I show you, you may not need a lot, but these are numbers you might want to keep track of. You might want to write them down. First, if you press the soft key underneath the word revisions, you'll see the screen change. When it changes, it'll come up with three numbers in that big box on the bottom. You've got an HST uh, ACE or processor number, and then you've got a SIM number. Uh, this one is 2114-769-3001, revision 1. And then if you have copper on your unit, you've got a copper measurements board. All those are important to write down and keep track of, just in case you might need to know later. Well, that covers the firmware and installed software options, as well as the hardware versions on your HST. I hope this was useful to you. In upcoming sections, we're going to get into some of the actual testing, specifically for copper and DSL. See you then.